Welcome to Rick's Corner, brought to you by Old School Labs, the brand I trust and the only one I put my name to. Use my code, Drayson12, on the link below. Welcome to Rick's Corner. The man, the myth, the legend. Now on with the show. Welcome to Rick Drayson Live. I had some time to uh, do this because I'm waiting to go see the Terminator, which I'm very excited about. That and the popcorn and the Diet Coke that goes with it. I think it should be a lot of fun. But I'm sitting thinking about things that were said to me earlier on in my life when I used to go down to Gold's Gym and Zeb would look at me and say, Hey, man. Hey, Rick. I said, What? He says, What does it all mean anyway? And I thought about that. And I said, What does he mean? Does What does it all mean? And we talked about it one day. He says, Well, you know, you get up, you do your thing, you go home, you go to bed, you get up the next day, do your thing. And he said, what does it all mean? You still say that pay the same price for a cup of coffee. I said, it's very true. And I started thinking about what it all means. It, we're here on earth to do certain things. And we sometimes pick things that we don't want to do. And we're unhappy about it. I have many people I know, they get up and fight that freeway every day, two hours to work and two hours at home. And their life is on the freeway and they go to a job they just hate. And then they come home to a family, hopefully that gratifies them, or they come home and they sit alone until the next day, and they get up and hop that freeway another two hours to work and come home. Is this life? Is this really why we're here? It's like I said before, this isn't a dress rehearsal for another life. You have to do what you want to do, and you have to find out what it is. And it isn't always about the money. Yes, we have to have money to live, and expenses are high, especially here in Los Angeles. But if you know the system, you can get around things. I learned years and years ago when I make, got here how to make it work, and I made it work, and I had everything I wanted, including my own home and everything. But not everybody can do that. I was just lucky enough or talented enough to pull it off. But you go through life making friends, and I made a lot in bodybuilding. I made a lot in wrestling. Most of my friends now are either moved away or they're in old age homes or they're dead, and that's a sad place to think about because – as my mom got older, she said to me, she said, you know, Rick, I don't have any friends left. She was 95, 93. And I said, you know, you don't. And it's really sad because all you have is yourself. She said, I could come home and I could sit here all day long. I, at 4 o'clock in the afternoon, I go out for coffee, I come back, and I'm here the rest of the night. I don't hear one soul calls me. So I would call her at night, and I'd call her in the morning just to tell her I love her. And, and uh, you know, I was thinking of her because I didn't want her to be alone. So as I get older, I'm beginning to think that my life follows the same pattern. I have a ton of friends, and I have a ton of friends here on Facebook. In fact, I have so many I can't add anymore, and I have 200 waiting, which brings me to this. I had to delete some, and I'm not big on doing that, but there are a certain amount of people that I talk to that I try to motivate and I try to help because I do this with my show, and they just won't take the step to do it. They just keep falling back and keep complaining to me. And if it's not one thing, it's another. And I tell them, you know, you got to, you got to help yourself. I can guide you along a certain path, but you've got to go on your own to make it happen. And as I see it, move on and move on. And as I talk to certain people, it just pulls me down. I'm a very positive person. I wake up with a smile every day and I go through life. And if you talk to my friends at the gym, when they say, how you doing? I say, I'm doing fine. I could be in the worst pain ever, but I'm doing fine. And that makes my day go good and everything falls in my court. But a lot of people I've talked to who I tell to think this way just keep thinking how, that, how terrible they're doing. And I know that there's, it's a tough world. I know there's a lot of homeless. There's a lot of drug addicts. There's a lot of people with mental problems. I realize that, and that makes me very sad. But you can only help those that help themselves. And if they don't want to help themselves, nothing's going to happen. So I went down my list, and I looked at people that I have never talked to in a long time. There's a lot of people on I don't really know, but they're fans. But I, I owe them the right to be on my Facebook because that's what they want to do, and I have more waiting. Some that I've been lifelong friends with, some that I know for a long time, um, never respond to me. It's like I don't exist. And I thought, well, then why do I have them on here? So I had to go through the list and delete them. Um, if you're watching this, <laughs> you're not one of them, so don't worry. But uh, I think it's good to clean house every once in a while because it's, it's like walking through mud and quicksand. It drags you down, and you don't want to do that. You want to keep on light on your feet and keep moving forward. And if somebody's pulling you back and pulling you down and pulling you down, you can't move forward. It's like those dreams where you keep running and you never get anywhere. You know, it's, I'm sure everybody's had them. 
I've had dreams of that, and I've had dreams running down the street naked because I don't sleep with any clothes on. <laughs> but we all have weird dreams. But the, the idea is to um, to move forward and help others. And if and, and when you say when he says to me, my friend, what does it all mean? It all means that we're here for a purpose and we want to do something. And my purpose is to advance ahead with everything I want to do and pass it on to others and help them with what they want to do. I get a great deal of gratification out of helping others and seeing them grow like a flower. And I give them the water to grow. And all they got to do is plant the seeds. And so some do and some I'm very proud of that they do and some just wilt and they just don't just don't do it. I don't know the answer to this anymore because I'm I'm drained. I just get drained with people like that. And uh, my battery runs low. And I don't want my battery running low at this point in my life. I got a low enough battery in the middle of my chest trying to blood, keep my blood running. So uh, think about that. And if there's people you can help and you can benefit them and motivate them, then do it because they deserve it. They deserve a chance. And I've given more than one chance. I've given three, four, five. But after a while, it's like, okay, I just, I can't do this anymore. I, I've got to move on and surround myself with people that are good, people that are um, progressive and, and successful and move forward. And, and it can have a conversation about doing better things because you learn from each other. You can't sit around and have coffee somewhere at Starbucks where I like to go with people who are depressed and dragging me down because their life is lost. I can't fix it. And I go there to relax and make notes to what I want to do today. And someone says, why do you go to Starbucks every day? Because it, 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 it lets me make an outline in my head of what, what, I, what I want to do on this show and what I want to do on my YouTube channel and what I want to do with my clothing line and how to move forward. That's my, uh, that's my hour of progressive uh, uh, marketing, let's say. And so when someone sits down and they plant themselves down at your table and they start telling you all their problems, it pulls you away from things you need to do. And it's usually the same problems every day. And every day they tell you the same thing. And the same thing has been going on for months like that. And it's like, get a hold of yourself and move forward. I can't help you. I can listen to a point, but I can't listen to a broken record every day. It's just too hard to do. I think this is pretty good advice. And I think if you want to get something out of life, this is what you have to do. You can't wallow in self-pity because no one's going to help you unless you help yourself. And you have to do that. Now I've opened up some spots on my Facebook to let some other people into my life that want to share my stuff with me, and we'll see where that goes. And maybe another few months I'll clean house again. You know, you just got to do that. I had the clean lady here today, and she cleaned my house, and it's nice and fresh. Anything that was old that wasn't being used was tossed out. And um, I got to do that in my closet too as well because I got a ton of clothing in there. Uh, we have questions coming in here. Uh, oh, yeah, Robert. Robbie, you got to clean house many times. Well, yeah, you have to because they keep coming on like the Klingons. It's like it's like barnacles on the bottom of a boat. They'll cling on to you and they won't let up and they won't let go. And it's uh, they'll suck the life out of you. Anyway, if you find yourself not on my list, and this is why, and I hate to say that because um, those that are gone know why, and they got to change their life. That's all. I just can't put myself around people like that. Other than that, training, went to the doctor yesterday, had a complete overhaul, checkup, and everything came out positive. Couldn't find anything wrong with me. So <laughs> I have nothing to complain about, and I'm not going to complain because today's today and tomorrow is a new tomorrow, and tomorrow will be more to do, and it will be more fun and that type of stuff. Look forward to my clothing line coming out this fall. Actually, fall. It's winter uh, with all my designs that I did back in the 80s, and it's coming out in all new clothing, and I'm really excited about that. But I'll post it on here when it's ready to go. I have a new long sleeve t-shirt that has my name down the sleeve. And Ina Tuller modeled it for me. She did a great job. I'd like to thank her for doing that. And that was one wonderful woman. Probably the, the best I've ever known. And so uh, anyway, that's it. You guys have a nice rest of the weekend. And I'm going to go see Arnold in The Terminator. <laughs> I got bad reviews, but what do I care? I'm sure it's probably really good. Enjoy your evening. Bye -bye. Hope you enjoyed the video brought to you by Old School Labs. Use my discount code Grayson12 on the link below at OldSchoolLabs.com. Hey everyone, now you can have the Gold's Gym logo drawn by me, the artist Rick Drayson. Personalized and made out to you and signed by me to frame and put on your gym wall or wherever you see fit to do so. It's a piece of bodybuilding history. It will never be duplicated again. It's the largest selling icon t-shirt logo in the world. And I'm the guy that drew it. And I will draw it for you. Just go to my website, rickdrazen.com and order there. You can pay through PayPal and it'll be sent out right away.
and be sure to watch Rick's Corner for all the videos on bodybuilding, nutrition, fitness, pro wrestling, and anything that suits your interests as far as getting physically fit and being the best you can be from the golden era of bodybuilding. Baby, see you next time.